this thing on? Right. Episode two. Well, not really episode two, but video two. I actually made a load of footage and uh, had to scrap it because I chopped the top of my head off and it was just my arms wiggling around. So yeah, I'm learning lots about how to make videos at home or how not to make videos at home. Just quickly, want to like a big thank you to everyone who watched my last episode. You know, my last uh, video. I honestly didn't expect uh, to have as much of a you know as many views on the first video. Um, my initial goal was to have one subscriber. I thought if I could get one subscriber, that would be you know that would be cool. So and I've got 15. I think my last count, 15 subscribers. So fucking awesome. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I also really appreciate the uh, comments, everyone commenting and engaging. If you uh, <clears throat> if you want to follow me on Facebook as well, uh, it's Holy Smoke UK. So facebook.com forward slash Holy Smoke UK. And if you want to find me on Instagram, my Instagram handle is at Holy Smoke UK uh, with underscores. So Holy underscore Smoke underscore UK. I'll put it in the uh, description box below. Let's talk about cigars, right? So a question I get quite a lot is why? Why do I smoke cigars? And it's down to um, one thing really. And that is that when I was younger, um, I just thought it was totally fucking bad. You know, like dudes, dudes, you know, guys like Arnold Schwarzenegger, have you ever seen Predator? Where he gets out of the chopper and he's got a big cigar in his mouth and he just looks like a fucking dude, man. And there's something like really stoic and something ultimately like fuck you about smoking cigars it's a macho thing and I'm a sucker for that stuff you know I just thought it was like cool so initially it was just the image of smoking cigars which attracted me to it um, I think it, it does have a bit of a stigma for like being like an old dudes thing but but it's not really the truth you, you look at guys who smoke cigars now you know or like even back in the day Clint Eastwood uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger Sylvester Stallone's big cigar guy um, Hugh Jackman, you know, as Wolverine, he's a big cigar guy. Uh, Michael Jordan is a cigar nut. I mean, I, I love Jordan, right? I collect Jordans. And uh, you, they, he's even done a Jordan 6 cigar, you know, cigar themed sneaker. So, you know, there are some dudes out there that, you know, are way into it. And they're all cool, cool dudes. I mind the cat. Right, so. What do you need to know about cigars as a total beginner? But the two main things you need to know if you're going to buy your first cigar, for example, and you're going to want to know the strength and body. They fall into those two different categories. Strength being uh, the strength of the nicotine. Uh, so a strong cigar is going to have more nicotine in it, uh, which is not recommended for a beginner. It's not going to kill you, but like, um, but you know, if you want to certainly enjoy the experience, then you know, go for something lighter. And uh, the body is the flavour profile. So a full, a full-bodied cigar is something real rich, and, and you know heavy, and uh, and a light-bodied cigar is something a bit smoother, something that you might you know be more comfortable smoking if you're a beginner. I actually like quite a light, medium-bodied cigar, but there are times when I like a full-bodied cigar too. You want to go with a light cigar, something not too strong. That's you know that's my recommendation. Now, don't be put off by the size. A, um, a, a you know cigar size you know you got the length and the ring gauge which is the sort of you know thickness of the cigar. A thicker ring gauge cigar is usually going to be a more a nicer smoke. Um, it keeps the smoke cool and lasts a bit longer. So a big cigar does not necessarily mean it's strong. Uh, a big cigar might be you know really really smooth. Like one of my favourite cigars, like for an anytime cigar, is a Hoya de Monterey Petit Robusto, and it's a you know it's a short, fat cigar. Dude, you can smoke those for breakfast. They're just super creamy and smooth, and I love those. But I don't want to get into that too much. Right, where to buy? Where are you going to buy a cigar from? If you if you're fortunate enough to live in a town or near a town that has a tobacco shop, that's where you want to be going. Um, there's two reasons for that. First reason is that you're supporting small local independent businesses, which is always a good thing and you should be doing that every day. And the second reason is because they can guide you through it. 
you know, rather than listening to some guy on YouTube, if you wander into your local tobacco shop, if you have one, and say that you're totally new to cigar smoking, what can they recommend for a beginner? They're gonna they're gonna recommend you and guide you into you know the best place. You can also uh, use an online retailer. A great one I use is cigars.com. That's just c g a r s uh, dot com, and uh, they actually have a really cool little thing on their website. They have a little live chat thing, and you can chat to one of their their employees on this little live chat thing. They'll recommend like three or four cigars. You can just pop them straight in your basket from the chat. See you later. Tom Ford's recommendation for a first cigar would be, there's three cigars I'd recommend. The first would be the Hoyo de Monterey Petit Robusto. It's just, it's a, it's a fucking great cigar. It's flawless, it's just a great cigar, I love it. Favorite of mine. Second would be the Mon Monte Cristo Edmundo, which is, a, is, is also a lovely little cigar, real solid, solid little smoke, and then Anything H. Upman. A little H. Upman would probably be a great first choice as well. So you got your cigar. Second thing you're going to need is a cutter. Cigars.com have, you know, they, they do their own little cutter here. I think if, if you're going to buy one of these, I think it's only going to be a couple of quid. A great little cutter, that is. The easiest way to describe this is that you just snip the end of the cigar off. Now at the, at, the cap of the, at the top of the cigar you've got the cap, there's a little line around the top of the cap where it's, it's glued on, you just cut above that line and you're fine. That's the simplest way to put it. The main thing is that when you light a cigar, you don't want any, any chemical or anything in whatever you're burning which is going to make the cigar taste weird. So use a butane lighter. Uh, butane burns odorlessly so it's got no odor so it's not gonna affect the taste of your cigar now i have lit cigars with just normal cheap lighters when i've been in a pinch i actually recently i actually recently had a really nice aged cigar and my lighter packed up and i had nothing there was no matches or anything so i just used a friend of mine's cigarette lighter and lit the cigar man it tasted like shit so i <laughs> Get a, get a proper lighter because it's just good. You know, a lot of the time when people smoke cigars, they don't do, they don't pay attention to these little things and they can really affect, really affect your experience. So I recommend an odor, like a butane lighter and a decent little car. Another thing to consider is uh, how you store your cigar. So you order a cigar online, it turns up keep it in a little Ziploc bag uh, like you know I'm talking to people who don't have humidors here keep it in a little Ziploc bag and it will keep in there for a few weeks alright so but but you know don't just leave it out on the side it's gonna dry out and that's gonna be hideous the cigar has to be kept you know with a certain level of moisture in it so so keep it in a little zip tie bag and you're good to go other videos on YouTube about how to cut how to light there's a few different techniques you know, have a look around and try them. I'm going to do my uh, cutting and lighting video and uh, I'll go into more detail with that. Uh, but in the meantime, if you want to get going, then you can find other shit on YouTube. That's what, that's how I did it, right? And a bit of trial and error. That's enough for me for now. Uh, I'm going to get another video up on later in the week. And uh, we'll talk about what to drink with whatever you're smoking. So we're going to touch on a few of those things. But until then, thanks for watching and... Uh, See you later.